Sports, uh, Shay, just your thoughts on the, the great punch you landed early and then kind of carrying it through the 48 minutes. Yeah, um, we were good tonight. Um, and I think it was from, from start to finish. Um, and they're a good basketball team. They've been playing well. I think they won four in the last six. Um, but we, we, we were good on both ends of the floor um, for, for a long period of time tonight. I think that's why we had a comfortable, comfortable win. And then just tell me how fun that give and go was late. It seemed kind of like a, a backbreaker play between you and Josh. Yeah, um, it's fun um, playing with Josh. Um, he found me on a couple cuts tonight for sure, um, but he does it every night for us. Um, so getting the easy ones is always fun, um, especially when teams scheme to make things hard for you. Um, having players out like that out there that made the game easy for you, um, it's always more fun to play with. They, they go on a 12-0 run in the fourth, and Lou, who had sat most of the second half with foul trouble, made some of the biggest plays of the mm -hmm. game. Can you kind of put in perspective um, what he brought in that time and, and the mentality that it, it has to take to be able to do that after you missed all that time in the second half? Yeah, um, he was just ready. Um, and that, I think that's been a staple of Lou's career. Um, he puts work in, um, and when his number's called, he's ready. Um, we saw it. You know, him coming through the NBA, um, and he takes that approach every night, every game. Um, and that's why he's the player he is. Paris Austin Valley Sports, um, you mentioned being good on both ends of the floor tonight. The defensive end in particular, you guys forced a lot of turnovers, got a lot of points off of turnovers. Just what's been, what was the focus for you guys on, on that end of the floor tonight? Um, just make it difficult for them. Um, and then play fast. Um, try to take them out of their comfort zone. Um, and then try to play in ours. I think. If we focus on that every night and try to do that every night, um, and obviously it's going to change depending on the team, um, but if we do that every night, we'll give ourselves the best shot. And it kind of says a lot more that you guys are, are down a few bigs right now, and a lot of it's you know small players out there on the floor going up against, giving up a lot of size. Just yeah. what does it say about this group that the defensive energy and effort is still there? You're not giving up as much even if you're playing smaller. Yeah, um, it forces us to work a little bit harder, um, scramble a little bit more defensively, um, but it's a fun way to play. Um, we have guys that that thrive off of that, like Lou, K. Rich, um, guys that thrive off of, of hustle plays and playing with energy. Um, and I think we're a better team when we play with that energy no matter who's out there. Um, and and the, the circumstances kind of forces us to, ch to, to channel that um, every night. Um, we've been good with it. Shay, jo Josh is shooting north of 40% from three over the last month or so. Mm -hmm. I know he's put in a lot of work uh, in, into that, what, what have you seen as far as just how many reps he's gotten up, kind of working um, on that jump shot and just kind of it, the steps he's made just from a confidence standpoint? Yeah. Um, when you when you work hard um, and work on the right things, um, coaches have been good with him, um, like mechanically and, and reps and stuff like that. Um, and then chip cupping, obviously helping. Um, when you work hard and you work on the right things, um, it'll show. Um, and we're seeing that slowly with Josh. Um, and as long as he continues to work, he'll, he'll continue to get better. Um, but yeah, he puts in the work. I'm not surprised at all. You guys had your fifth game with 30 or more assists tonight. You had six guys with three or more. Um, Coach talked about how you guys needed to, how tonight's performance showed that you guys were more proactive in your passes instead of reactive when, and not waiting for the defense to come and show pressure. What goes into that for you guys to be more proactive and making quicker passes? Um, just, just, I think watching film helps with that. Um, um, and then just having a together mentality offensively um, and taking what the defense gives you. Um, a lot of times defense try to load up and take away the paint. Um, and if we move the ball fast, it'll be harder for them to react. Um, and we saw that in film, um, especially from last game. Um, we just try to apply it tonight, and I think we did a good job. Shay, last season you attempted 5.6 threes uh, per game. Then you had your ankle injury, and you came back, and you were averaging 4.3 attempts. This year it's 2.9. Obviously, it's pay paying dividends for you, not shooting as many threes because you've become one of the best scorers in the NBA and one of the best uh, mid-range shooters. I just want to ask you about what was the process behind that or that decision to, I guess, maybe pivot some of your game because a lot of the NBA now is all about the three. Um, it's funny you say that. Like My coaches and stuff and guys I work with, they want me to shoot more threes. Um, I'm just not listening. But uh, 
it's something that I work on a lot. Um, and I'm kind of just playing in my comfort zone right now. Um, but yeah, I'd still like to get that number up. Mm -hmm. Kind of to where it was. But I'm, I'm obviously not going to force it and go out there and think that I'm just going to play my game. Um, but I'd like to get that number up. Well, and as you drive more and more, I mean, you've led the league in drives the last few years. Are you feeling more and more teams trying to pressure you, I guess, into taking more threes? Or is it just they're playing you straight up? Um, I think teams mix it up. Um, some nights they gap. Usually when it's a big, they gap um, just because they're slower footed. Um, but I think teams mix it up, try to give me different looks. Um, I just try to take what they give me every night. You obviously got more MVP chance tonight, but J Dub got some also. Um, what's it like for you to get not not only for you to get MVP chance, but hearing your teammates get MVP chance? Yeah, um, it's support at the end of the day, um, and the fans have been great with that since I've been here, um, supporting us, cheering us on, um, and I'm sure J Dub likes them too. I uh, you're one dunk away from matching your career high in dunks. Is, is that just something that you've attempted to do and, and dunk more, or is it just opening up more for you this year? Um, I work really hard on my body in the summertime, um, and I feel like every year in NBA I get a little bit more athletic. Um, I get off the ground a little easier and faster. Um, so I think that's what it attributes to. Um, hopefully it doesn't slow down and I keep getting better at it. Anybody else? Not <laughs> 